Hey, what's up guys? You boys, Pilot 2K7 back for another Grand Auto 5 real life mod video. Today we are back with our heavy duty record of Peterbilt tow truck and we're actually going to be responding to a very serious motor vehicle accident involving a semi truck, logging trailer and passenger vehicle. Now, this is part three of a three part series guys. So if you guys did not check out part one or part two, I'll link them right here as cards and I'll also link it down below in a video description. So let's go ahead and get going. We need to get to the accident and try to get the road opened up. As you can see, Department of Transportation has this whole area shut down and they even have a nice message board truck up as well as pretty much explaining what's going on. So we're gonna go ahead and respond. Alright guys, so like I was saying, this is going to be part 3, so make sure you guys check out part 1 and part 2 so you guys see how the whole rescue went. So now that we're done with the rescue, we saved everybody that was hurt in the accident. We are now going to try to recover the vehicles so we can get the road open. Alright guys, so we are arriving on scene now. All right, so CHP is still here. I got two of my tow trucks here already. Obviously, they're not really prepared for uh, this type of accident, so we had to bring out the big boy here. All right, so this looks pretty serious. Uh, I'm not even sure where we're gonna exactly start. We're probably gonna have to start with the semi truck. So I'm just gonna get my truck into position. And let's see, let's go ahead and drop our lift. There we go. All right, so let's take a look and see exactly what is going on here today. So we got two of our flatbeds here already. I'll probably use this to uh, tow the smaller car or what's left of the car. That thing got destroyed. Okay. All right, so the challenge is gonna be trying to get this semi over the ledge and back onto the road. Hopefully we're gonna be able to make this work. It is, oh my goodness, this thing got destroyed. Wow. So like I said, guys, definitely make sure you guys watch part one and part two. Um, so you can see how we did the rescue and the medevac and it, it was a whole bunch of craziness we did. So anyway, let's try to let's try to make this happen guys. So I'm gonna get in. I got my guys on scene, they've been evaluating and planning everything, so it's gonna back up to about right here. Now an ideal situation like in real life this will probably require a rotator most likely because we literally have to lift this thing up now we don't have a rotator in the game so we're gonna have to kind of make this work we're gonna have to kind of role play it but uh, we're just gonna role play lifting up the arm chaining it up and lifting it and bring it over all right guys so they're gonna get the rigging all set up i'm gonna just go ahead and put the truck into a better position and go ahead and attach So we are now attached. So this will be the part where we would like kind of lift and swing it over and bring it back over. But we're going to have to kind of improvise. So let's see how this is going to work. I'm going to wait for them to finish up the rigging. And we're going to try to pull this thing over. All right, guys. So we got everything attached. It is showtime. Let's see if this is going to work. Okay. So the winding never really works for me, but I just figured we'd give it a shot anyway. So yeah, that didn't work. Alright, so what we're going to have to do is try to just straight up pull it. So here we go. Three, two, one. Oh, that wasn't so bad. All right. 
it. So we got it over. That was actually easier than I thought it was gonna be. Dang, look at the two front wheels of this thing. This thing got destroyed, guys. Alright, so we're gonna try to get attached to it and see if it's still towable. If it's not towable, we're gonna have to get a flatbed out here and just take it off in a flatbed, but we're gonna inspect and see how bad it is. Dang, look at this. Alright, so I'm gonna have my guys start um, inspecting this and rigging this stuff up, and then I'm gonna go work on that silver car over there and try to get that out of here. Alright. So they're going to get all of the forks on, get the safety chains and all of that good stuff. We're going to go ahead and use the rollback. And I'm going to see if I can get the rollback loaded while they're working with the wrecker. So we're just going to drag this car all the way out. And let's spin around and grab it from the front. Only reason why I always grab from the front with this one is just because the way the script works, it's going to flip the car around to the front anyway. So it's going to look weird if I load it backwards and then it automatically goes back towards the front. Alright, All right, this should work. There we go. Alright, let's see if we get this attached. Alright, so we got this thing strapped down. By the time we're done with this, they should have the semi truck ready to be towed. All right, perfect. All right, so we'll park this one up right here. And I'll get towed back to our shop. I'm probably not going to need the Durastar for anything today since we got everything loaded on the uh, first flatbed. Alright, so last thing is just to try to hook this thing up and we should be good. Alright, so it looks like they're about done. Surprisingly, the um, the fifth wheel and the or the kingpin and the trailer was still in good condition. Most of the damage was just cosmetic right up here in the front. All right, guys, everything is good. Let's go ahead and tow this baby. Back to the shop we go. Alright guys, there she goes. Alright, so they should be able to get the road open up now. We got all the vehicles out of the way. Alright, so let's see if CHP needs anything else before we go. I imagine that we're all set and they probably be open up the highway anytime now.
Alright guys, so the highway is finally open. North and southbound traffic can finally continue through US Route 1 here. So we are done. Well, we're not done yet. Our job still continues. Now we gotta get these wrecked vehicles to our shop. Man, this trailer is like all twisted up actually. Also, in case you guys did not watch part one or part two and you guys are in the comment section wondering why this looks like this. Um, basically, I, I explained it in part one and part two, but basically the way this trailer works, I can't take out all of the logs. For some reason, I can only take out the logs around these uh, four, like the ones on the bottom. I cannot take off those for some reason. So. Basically what happened when it crashed all the logs went all over the place But like I said you guys if you watch part one you already saw all of that stuff So let's get back to the shop We have six miles to go aye, aye, aye. All right, so the, the rollback is gonna follow us back to the shop Alright guys, so I got a five mile drive back to our shop and then we're gonna be done. I'm glad you guys have been enjoying this tow truck so much too, like um, we did a couple videos with it now. We, we did the main video when we bought it from the Peterbilt dealership. We did the second video when we responded to that burned semi truck or that semi truck that got burnt on the uh, highway. Then we have our third video was when we was towing that school bus and now this is going to be our fourth video. So hopefully you guys enjoyed this one as much as you guys enjoyed the other one. And I really thank you guys for watching. It's, it's a lot of fun making these videos and trying to come up with ideas and cool things to do. And um, it's fun. I'm just glad you guys are having fun watching. And if you guys have any suggestions, definitely let me know in the comments section. And I'll, I'll see if it's possible for me to do. It'd be cool if like the mirrors actually showed what's behind you. This is where they had the road closed up before. Traffic was backed up for miles through Route 68. What the? Oh shoot. 
Okay. That was pretty interesting. <laughs> Hope that person's gonna be okay. Looks like we're gonna have another recovery to do, guys. We'll call that in and we'll wait for the uh, first responders to let us know if they need us or not. Alright guys, so we are back at our shop. A nice little drive there. Peterbilt handled the load without an issue. Alright, so there goes our destination right on the right. Alright guys, we safely made it. Alright guys, so I'm going to leave the truck and the trailer parked here for now until, until insurance figures out what they want to do with it. So let's go ahead and put that down. We'll detach from it and we'll go park up the Peterbilt. So another good day, another successful day. And like I said, this Peterbilt has been putting in work. We have been doing a lot of jobs with it and it's definitely paying for itself with all of the jobs that we are able to do now with this thing. Alright guys, welcome to our tow shop. And uh, we're gonna go park this out in the uh, back area and it'll wait until it has its next job. got to do now is just bring back that other truck and I think I'm gonna drop that other car back here probably because it's probably gonna be junked as you see we have a couple of junk cars we got to take those to the uh, junk yard in Sandy Shores one of these days Our tow truck disappeared. <laughs> I'm like, wait, we have way too much space back here for some reason. 
All right, we'll unload that over there, but we'll do that at another time. So hopefully you guys did enjoy. Thank you guys so much for watching. Like I said, if you guys enjoyed, make sure you let me know by uh, leaving some comments down below in the comment section, hitting the like button, sharing a video well, out with a, vi a friend or on Twitter or Discord. Instagram really is appreciated. So anyway, guys, thank you guys for watching. Really do hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.